Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about anime from the 1980s and 1990s. Yeah, I'm kind of taking the trip down memory lane here. I found out that Amazon has a bunch of uh, early 1990s anime, or at least anime that you could find at Blockbuster Video in the early 1990s, and that's really when I got into watching anime. You know, when I was a kid, I grew up watching shows like Robotech and Transformers and Voltron. Uh, they sort of got me into into the uh, anime style. And then, uh, you know, as I got a little bit older, you know, Blockbuster Video was a thing. And lo and behold, you could rent what at the time seemed like a massive uh, selection of more adult cartoons. And back then we used to call it Japanimation. I know it's a horrible thing to call it, but that's what they used to call it back in the day. And I'm actually really excited that uh, a lot of these shows can be found on Amazon Prime, but they can also be found on an app called Retro Crush. And we're going to talk about that because they actually jumped into my Twitter mentions and uh, said that they're the ones that are putting all this classic anime on Amazon. So I want to do something different besides complain. Uh, we've been complaining a lot. A lot of things are going on in the world right now. Um, you know, a lot of things that are not good, and a lot of you are stuck in the house. Uh, so a lot of people, I imagine, are going to be streaming. They're going to be streaming more shows, and I really recommend, if you haven't done so already, uh, check out some of these older anime series, older anime movies. Um, know your roots. You know, I found this article. I was trying to find pictures of what Blockbuster was like in the 1990s when I first started renting this this anime and people don't realize you know now the anime is so easy to find that all these streaming services have it I don't think people realize how hard it actually was to find and get a hold of the anime back in the 80s and 90s you know like I said a lot of the uh, the early stuff I watched came from blockbuster video Hollywood video had a pretty decent anime section you know we had had shows like you know bubblegum crisis of course Akira and a bunch of others that I'm going to show you are actually on, on this uh, one app. And no, I'm not being paid by them at all to promote the app. I'm just really, really happy it exists. I couldn't find any pictures of Blockbuster videos circa 1993 or 1994, about the time I started running, uh, running anime. But I can tell you that back then, you know, there was a section of about maybe 20 VHS tapes. And uh, they had, you know, Bubblegum Crisis, Akira, uh, Project Aiko, Crying Freeman, Devilman, Giver, I think was was in there, Robot Carnival, another another uh, old school favorite of mine. And it seemed like all the Blockbuster videos had basically the same titles. It didn't matter which Blockbuster you went to. They had the same like 12 to 20 titles. And if I wanted stuff that was different, I had to go to like other other video stores. I went to West Coast Video and they had like Dominion Tank Police and, and some other ones there that, you know, you couldn't get. But like if you even wanted to buy anime back in the day, you would have to go to usually uh, either a comic shop could order tapes for you or you could go to someplace like Suncoast Video. And uh, Suncoast Video, you would wind up... I, I think the first anime VHS I bought was actually an Appleseed OVA, and I paid $45 for a 30- uh, to 40-minute OVA. And back in the day, my friends and I used to trade tapes because nobody could afford to buy very much of this stuff. So we would, we would swap tapes. You know, so my friends would go get, you know, one series or one OVA and I'd get another and then we would just, you know, trade out. And then, uh, you know, we try to find what we could at some of the different uh, video stores. Right. And for those of you who don't remember <laughs> what video stores look like back in the day before Netflix kids, we used to go to specialized stores and we would rent VHS and DVD copies of movies, physical media. Remember that? It was really cool because you could walk down the aisle and you could see all these different movies and sometimes uh, you know some cover art would catch your eye and you'd pick it up and that's what happened to me with uh, a lot of anime is I'm like I don't even know what this stuff is but the cover looks pretty badass so I'm gonna rent this yeah you know, I'm gonna plunk down two dollars and rent this thing and I do remember I do remember the very first uh, anime I think I rented from Blockbuster I think I rented like three tapes I rented Battle Angel Battle Angel, the original Battle Angel, which I'm going to show you. It's actually on YouTube. Uh, you can go out and watch it now. Uh, I rented Project Aco, and I think I rented Robot Carnival all in the same weekend, and I was hooked. So I was very happy 
when I was perusing Amazon Prime to see what they had out there, because Amazon Prime gets some, some pretty weird stuff. Uh, they do. They get different things than you're going to find on Netflix or Hulu, and some of it's like really obscure. And I was happy they had Robot Carnival. And I watched Robot Carnival about two months ago, I think, with Squid King. And I was surprised how good it looked. It really held up very, very well. But they must have remastered it or something. It looked very, very good on Amazon Prime. But they also had a bunch of other anime that I remember from back in the day that they used to have on VHS. You know, Go, Go Go and Space Adventure Cobra. Some of you might actually remember Space Adventure Cobra as uh, the video clips that they played during Matthew Sweet's girlfriend music video. I, am I that old? Do people remember that? Go Google Matthew Sweet girlfriend and you can see uh, Space Adventure Cobra and uh, a lot of, you know, other other uh, classic, classic uh, anime. And uh, a lot of you who watch the channel probably will remember some of this stuff because, you know, I know we're about the same age. I know a lot of you grew up in the 80s and 90s. And uh, if you're younger than that and you don't remember these shows, check them out. Uh, if you don't have Amazon Prime, Okay, this is, this is the service. It's called Retro Crush. And I know this because they, they jumped into my Twitter timeline when I was raving about how cool it was to have all of this classic anime like Project Aiko, you know, uh, to have all this stuff on Amazon. And they said, oh, yeah, we have a whole service. Uh, we have a service. Uh, it's an app. You can go out and download Retro Crush. And you can watch all this really great classic anime. I mean, this is, this is really what brought anime to the U.S. in a big way. I, you know, Robotech was a thing, Transformers was a thing, Star Blazers was a thing, but Blockbuster in the early 1990s, which led into Toonami and all of that, that is really what kind of mainstreamed anime for a lot of people, or at least put it on the radar. And I still remember because I rented all of this anime that when Evangelion came out, I actually bought it sight unseen because I remember some of the anime magazines back in the day raving about how amazing this this show was. And like I said, I was already buying VHS tapes and swapping them with friends. So I pre-ordered Evangelion. I'm like, well, it must be good because all the magazines say so. You know, Space Adventure Cobra, you know, because back in the day that you could trust the gaming magazines, you could trust uh, the anime magazines and the comic magazines like Wizard. Uh, you could, oh, Jinro. Yeah, you could you could trust all these these publications. So yeah, I bought Evangelion. And uh, I paid 25 bucks a tape for Evangelion. I bought the whole damn series, and that's a lot of money. <laughs> you know, that's why I'm so, uh, you know, for those of you that watch my kind of my Evangelion rants, you know, about the, uh, the Netflix dub, that's why I'm so uh, attached to the ADV dub, is because that was the first series that I bought in its entirety. And I wound up spending like 400 bucks probably on the whole thing before it was all said and done. That and Slayers. I, I bought uh, the first series of slayers too if i recall another favorite of mine but check it out you can download retro crush even if you don't have amazon prime now i do remember people telling me about this but uh you know i didn't really pay attention and i'm sad that i didn't look at what they've got on here die buster street fighter golgo 13 bubblegum crisis uh gto great teacher onizuka is one of my one of my favorites from the 2000s i freaking love this anime there's just so much good stuff on here. And if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I really recommend, especially since everybody's got you know, more time to watch shows now, go out and check out some of these older shows. There's some really good stuff out here. And uh, it's not going to cost you anything. It's, it's ad-sponsored, I guess, uh, Retro Crush. But I just thought it was very, very cool. Now, there's some other stuff out there that I would recommend you know, uh, checking out if you get the time. Um, Little Nemo, Adventures in Slumberland. This was... A freaking masterpiece. This was a TMS actually animated this movie. It came out in 1989 and it was like a fusion. It was like the perfect fusion of East meets West. We had some Disney alumni working on this. We had freaking Mobius storyboarding for it, I think. And it was animated by TMS and it's amazing. And it's also on Amazon Prime but it's on TMS's YouTube channel too, for free. You can watch this. This is another one. We had the DVD of this back in the day. This was one of Squid King's favorite movies growing up. We watched, I don't know how many times we watched Little Nemo. Uh, he loved it when he was little. And we paid through the nose, through the nose for a DVD of this movie. So the fact that you guys can watch it for free 
is is pretty incredible. And it really is a, a, an amazing, amazing 2D movie. If you haven't watched it, uh, absolutely check it out. Now, Capcom actually did a couple games based on it. They did the NES cartridge, and they did, they did the uh, the arcade game. The arcade game, which was uh, really awesome. Um, the animation of this is just, I mean, for 2D, it's spectacular. It really was very, very well done. And um, the arcade game was really good, too. Uh, Rock and Roll. You can check out Rock and Roll. We had John Celestri on before... Mr. Celestri is a veteran animator. He worked on Rock and Roll. It was Nelvana. Uh, very, very good. You can actually find the movie out there. The full movie is out there for free on YouTube. A bunch of people have it uploaded. I guess it's public domain. Now. I don't know what's going on with it. But it was Nelvana before they were doing a lot of kids' cartoons. Uh, one of my favorite 80s movies. Actually, I love Rock and Roll. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, it's so weird. It's just a weird movie, but it kind of was uh in the same vein as you know heavy metal or ralph bakshi films uh very very cool i'll put links to rock and roll little nemo out there you guys can check it out uh for sure but there's a lot of good stuff out there for free guys uh just because it's old doesn't mean it's bad and uh you know if you look at you know even just some of these clips here look at the animation from the 80s 90s the anime compared to a lot of the stuff that's being produced today and i see a lot of like fudging with uh you know, different uh, animation tools, computer animation, stuff like that. Um, there was just so much TLC that was put into a lot of these older anime series and movies that uh, just hasn't really been replicated, I, I don't think. Not not for TV show, but OVAs especially were done really, really well. So check it out. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I just thought it'd be cool to to share this. Um, there are some articles out there. This, this is pretty cool. This is coming from um, Brian Dana Camp. Uh, his his film and anime blog, and he has a lot of artwork, comic books. Look at this, Animag, uh, Anime Zine, classic 80s, 90s anime. And uh, this is this is what I grew up watching. You know, Project Aiko, there we go. Project Aiko, definitely check out Project Aiko. Uh, goofy as hell, but um, it's a classic, and it was a staple in Blockbuster Video. The same with Bubblegum Crisis. Look how much, $34.95. Look how much these damn tapes used to cost, people. You have no idea. Dominion Tank Police. These were all... Yeah, Lensman, MD Geist. Yeah, all these movies were parked at Blockbuster Video. Venus Wars. And a lot of them you can find now. Definitely go check out Retro Crush. Uh, I'm going to be wading through it later tonight. Try to find some forgotten classics. Uh, it's d good stuff. Good stuff. I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll talk... Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.